À, xin chào mừng quý vị quay trở lại với phần 2 với chương trình Tôi về Việt Nam trên kênh truyền hình SBNC cùng trò chuyện với ông Johan de Geer, là tổng giám đốc của Oriflame Việt Nam. Hi Johan, welcome back. Hi, thank you. So what is it like being a man working for a cosmetic business? <laughs> that's, that's a very good question. I see quite common question as well. Uh, well, first of all, it's great. Yeah. Uh, you know, I get to work with a lot of beautiful and successful women. Yeah. Uh, that's people the, you know, be jealous for that, man. Can't, can't, can't be bad, yeah. Um, but there's a, a common misconception actually about our business uh, mm. that it's only about uh, you know uh, women and the female industry. Uh, uh, it's not. Uh, in our business actually uh, right now around the world, uh, the male cosmetics business is very much fast growing. Really. And um, what I like very much about Oriflame Vietnam is if I compare it to many other Oriflame countries, uh, we have a very high proportion of men working in our business here. Mm. Uh, so we have many people who work uh, building our uh, Oriflame business. Uh, we have many of them who work as directors, uh, and uh, very happy for that because I believe that a business which is both uh, full of men and women are is much more strong and diverse than a other business. So uh, that's a good thing. So we welcome more and more men and women to us. Okay, so that's why we need a man to lead the Java. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I think that many good women as well at that. But uh, I, I think that the fact that we have both men and women in the mm-hmm. or in Vietnam business is a very, very strong thing. How about the Vietnamese market the, for the male products? Is that, is that growing too? It is growing as well, yeah. And, uh, you know, m- most people, when they hear about cosmetics, they think about color cosmetics, uh, you know, lipstick and stuff like that. Like this, yeah, mm. and of course that's not a highly male product. Mm. Uh, but uh, we sell, you know, everything from toiletries, so as uh, you know, to uh, shower gels, uh, skincare products, and uh, you know, hair products. They are actually growing for men as well, and a lot of men using them now. So this common misconception that men don't okay. use cosmetics is wrong. All right. So I mean, Oriflame is a global company. Yep. So how is the position of Vietnam's market? in their strategic, you know, strategic plannings of math or doing business for the global company? Uh, or if, or if is very much focusing on growth markets and Vietnam is a huge growth market. Mm. Uh, so I would say that uh, Vietnam is one of Oriflame's most important markets right now uh, because of the huge opportunity here. Uh, so we have a good base, uh, we have a good development and we can grow even more. So uh, we're giving good resources to this. So in the developing markets like Vietnam, what kind of you know typical challenges that the company usually have to deal with? Uh, well, you know, uh, being a foreigner, first of all, for me, it's a language. Yeah? I mm-hmm. don't understand. But for the company, um, it's a good question. And uh, I would say that uh, I have worked in many markets, and mm-hmm. I I think that there is not a lot of differences. You come into a new market, you have all the things you need to start up a business, you have the regulatory parts, uh, you have to understand the culture, uh, you have to understand what the business opportunity is here. Uh, I don't think Vietnam is different in any way from other markets there. Uh, it's um, All markets have their specific rules, you have to learn them and you have to work with them. Mm. Uh, so I haven't felt any big differences from, from any other markets. Okay, really. So from your job, you are General Managing Directors of Oriflame. Yes. What kind of duty you have to perform every day? My job is very much about working with them, motivating them, coaching them, and um, you can see it as a uh, a business development role. Uh, If you're a director, a seller with Oriflame, I meet you, we look into your business, and we see how can we develop it, how can we make it grow faster, how can you sell more, how can you make more money? The director? Yes. The person who has the huge network of sellers? Yes, absolutely. And and, uh, by doing so, we together develop. You might tell me, as a director then that uh, you have these and these issues that you need help solving, I will look into our business and say, how can we support you better? How can we develop our system so that it serves you better? Hmm. And that's how we work. And it's very much a partnership, and that's the part I like very much because uh, it's a teamwork. Hmm. Um, it's not, uh, you know, it's not a negotiation between, uh, you know, uh, two parties who want just to take a big part of the pie each. It's hmm. a, it's a partnership for how to grow a market in the best way, hmm. and we have been very successful with that. We are working okay. in sixty markets around the world. Sixty markets, yeah, around more than sixty now, okay. and uh, and uh, we have. Uh, we are the biggest brand in many of those, and uh, if we're not the biggest, we're very often number two. Mm-hmm. And then I'm not speaking only about the direct sales brand, but actually the cosmetics brand. So we are a huge, huge uh, uh, cosmetics player uh, in many markets, but because we are direct sales, many people don't know that. Yeah, You walk into your daily store and you see a lot of brands, and you would remember them because you're a consumer and you see them daily. Uh, but what you wouldn't know is that we might be selling more than those brands because mm. we are in direct sales. So by talking to the directors and helping them with their business, what kind of common issues that, that they usually have to cope with? It's, it's actually very much uh, as for any business. Uh, it's how do you attract and retain people, so the HR yeah, uh, side, of course. Yeah, 
It's how do I grow my sales? Uh, how do I develop my product offering? Yeah, we work a lot with product presentations and how can you uh, explain the benefits, especially for, for instance, our wellness products. It's a new mm. product. How do I explain for people how you can use these products and, and become more healthy? Mm. Um, if you drive a business, you have to understand if you make money or not. <laughs> okay. uh, and this is a huge part, of course. Uh, I can be a director and I can have a big business, but it doesn't mean that I make any money in that case because I've been driving it badly. Then we go in and we say, okay, you should do like this instead because you will make more money. You will put it into your business. You will develop it. So how about yourself? I mean, coming here so fresh, only a couple of months. Mm -hmm. What do you do to build a strong team here, working with Vietnamese people, staff? Well, first of all, it's, it's just a pure joy to do that because uh, we have fantastic staff in Vietnam. Um, and uh, we have fantastic directors as well. So I, I have just been enjoying it. Um, I think it's very much about uh, introducing yourself. Uh, I think it's very much about listening, understanding. Uh, I mean, I'm not the expert coming here. Uh, I might be the expert on our business, but I'm not the expert on our business in Vietnam. Hmm. I have to come here. I have to listen to the staff. I have to listen to the di directors, understand what are the issues, what are the most important things right now, and how do we do them together? And that has been my approach so far. Uh, okay. I think yeah, that's the way to do it. Uh, then let's see if it works, you know. Uh, but uh, I think so. Uh, that's okay. the way I have to do it. You have to feel like a team. So for most of the people that work, uh, you know, being a consultant or directors, mm -hmm. do they have a full-time job beside that, or is is this something that you they doing extra? Well, that's a good good uh, question because some of them do have other jobs, and you don't actually need to work full time to have an oriflame business. Many people start like that; they have some extra income. Uh, you know, always nice to have some extra cash. And then that's you love feel to be that a lot of uh, cash. yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and then you feel that okay, I'm actually quite good at this. I'll go full in for 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 this job. So you do have people do full time. Absolutely, and then the most successful people they are, you know, they're going to work as as a full time businessman. Mm. Uh, and they 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 may may not have started like that, and uh, you know some some of them even work in pairs. That's a beauty in our business. Mm. So the the woman would start earning a bit of money. Uh, the man would say, yeah yeah, you know, why are you spending your time on that? And then she would become quite successful. And, uh, and then he after can a while, join. the man joins actually, <laughs> <laughs> and he says, yeah. And that, those are actually the most successful consultants who work in pairs. They're very okay. good. Yeah. All right. So if I'm your consultants, and then I do you know the selling job for your products. Does that mean I can have my full control of the way I sell it? Can I sell it on the internet or can I sell it at shop? Can I open a shop? Uh, no, Something like you that? cannot open a shop. Uh, we are not okay. a retailer and uh, we have to have one business model. We cannot have two. Hmm. So you have to sell them according to our business model. Um, we have certain rules for how you can act online, but uh, the pure essence is that you, you buy the products from us. Yeah? Mm. And that's also the guarantee for our relationship. Yeah? Mm. Uh, if you would uh, go out and start buying products from somebody else and sell somebody else's products, then it's suddenly a different business model. Okay. Uh, and, uh, but uh, we, have a, we have an assortment of more than 1,000 products, uh, <laughs> okay. and, and uh, we are changing many of them every year. So mm. that is usually not a problem, actually. We don't see a big issue with that. So the seller can only sell directly to the customers. They cannot open a shop or anything like no, that. No, we don't have shops. Uh, you can, uh, to an extent, you can have your own business center, like your office, and that very many of uh, mm -hmm. our people do. So I have a, uh, let's say, training facility uh, mm -hmm. where I show the products, where I uh, train my teams, where I build my uh, the competence of my business partners in my network. Yeah, that's okay, no problem. But uh, it's not so that people can come in there pay money and walk out the door with the product. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Interesting. Yeah. All right. Thank you for sharing and I will come back after a short break. Yeah, Thank sure. you. Vừa rồi là phần 2 của cuộc trò chuyện với ông Johan Nguyen là tổng giám đốc của Oriflame Việt Nam. Mời quý vị giải lao trong ít phút trước khi quay trở lại với phần cuối.